Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up your first project using Filmora 14. Okay, so this is my second lesson in this series. The series about Filmora 14. We're going to teach you how to use the software and how to edit video using Filmora 14. Okay, so if you're new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel. By the way, my name is Jackie. I'm from Vietnam. I've been making Filmora tutorial since 2017. It's about six or seven years. Okay, so maybe I know about the software a little bit more than you, especially as a beginner. And if you want to try Filmora 14, I will put the link in the description for you. And don't forget to use my special discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. Okay, so before trying to create a new project using Filmora 14, don't forget to copy all the footage or all the video, image or sound effect or background music or stuff like that from your camera. Maybe your phone, GoPro or DSLR or stuff like that to your computer. Okay, and you want to create a folder on your computer and keep that folder until you finish the project and do not move or delete that folder. Otherwise, there will be some error in the software. Okay. So first thing first, we can open a new folder on our computer first. Okay, so I'm going to create a test folder on my C drive. And okay, so I will just create this one, demo folder. So this is the first thing you need to do. Create a folder on your computer. Okay, and then you want to copy the video from your device to this folder. Okay, so I can go back and select this video. So I have some video here. It is from my phone and we can right click and cut and then go back to here, go to the demo folder and right click and then we can paste it. Okay, so now we have two video on our computer. And the next thing, you want to create a new project using Filmora 14. So let's go to Filmora. And first thing first, you have to decide which platform that you want to upload your video to. So first thing, we need to select the aspect ratio for our project. Here in Filmora 14, we also have 16 by 9 and 9 by 16 here at the start page. And we have a more button here. You can select it. You can select one by one for Instagram or 21 by 9 for cinema video. Okay, by the way, you can change the aspect ratio later in the user interface also. Okay, so next thing you want to click here, create a new project for 16 by 9. So we is a landscape video, okay? And the next thing you want to do is to import your video, right? We have our video on our computer. We can click here to import and don't forget to go back to your media and then click import. And then you want to select the folder on your computer, okay? So I'm going to find it on my computer. This one, demo video. Okay, so this is the demo folder. So I can just select all of them and then click open. Okay, and it will ask you to create Procify to help you edit video smoother if you have a low-end computer. Okay, but I'm going to click no. Okay, so this is a video, you import it to the media. And the next thing you want to do is to save this project and give it a name and find a location on your computer. So it is very important, okay? To do that, you want to click Find and Save Project, or you can press Control S, a shortcut to save your project. And now you want to give it a name. I make it Demo Filmora 14, number two. Okay, and click Save. So this is how you can create a new project and save your project in Filmora 14. And there is more button here. At the file menu, for example, you can save as project. We give another name. And next thing, you can save the project as template. If you put anything on the timeline, you can save it as a template so you can use it next time. Okay, so that is your first project. And what if you want to double check your project setting? You want to go to file again. Okay, so go to file again and we have the project setting right here. It is very important because you want to set the resolution and frame rate for your project also. So you want to click here, project setting. And here we have the aspect ratio. So it is 16 by 9, widescreen video. 
and this is the resolution you can select full hd or 4k video here okay so normally i will select full hd and next thing you can select the frame rate for your video for a vlog i will select 24 frames per second for a tutorial video i can select 30 frames per second and for gaming video i will select 60 frames per second okay and for the color space, if you shoot your video in standard profile, you want to select Rec 709. If you shoot video in log profile, you can select different color space right here. Okay. But for now, I will select Rec 709 and then I can click OK. So that is how to set up your project and how to change your project. By the way, before trying to edit video, you want to set up your backup project and also some preference also. So you want to go to file again and then select preferences okay so here you have some tab the first tab is general so here you can change the language of the software for example if you don't want to use english you can use german spanish french stuff like that right here and you can also change the appearance of the software also here is the dark mode and they have system mode and light mode also by the way the light mode and the system mode is the same so they have wide interface like this something like this but I don't like this one I just want a dark one okay so I would change to dark mode and we can apply if we select this language and the next thing you want to do is to select the folder tab so it is important to to know where Filmora save your project file and proxy file and recorded screen and stuff like that so it is in the folder and you can change the folder right here and another information here is the backup setting. So normally the default backup setting is five minute and don't forget to change it to one minute right here because after your shop where crash or stuff like that, it will recover to the last one minute, okay? And the next tab is the performance tab. It is also important for you, okay? You want to select the performance and then you want to enable hardware acceleration and stuff like that here, right here. So if you have a strong computer or a good hardware, you want to enable it. So just make use of the hardware. And don't forget to turn off the background render. Otherwise, your software will lag so much, okay? And finally, you want to create Procify for your video and image. And now in Filmora 14, you can create proxy for your image also. For example, this is my proxy setup. If I import Full HD video or 4K video, I will create proxy. Otherwise, lower resolution, I will not create proxy, okay? And don't forget to click apply when you finish your setting. Okay, so that is how to set up your project and change your project in Filmora 14. And also how to work with the references in Filmora 14. And now you can start editing your video, okay? Just drag and drop it onto the timeline and keep the project setting and play. And then you can cut the video, add text or stuff like that. But that will be in my next lesson, okay? Okay, so that's enough for today's video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.